In this demo, I want to focus on enabling the debug for an ORS. So just to put it in the context, I'm in the Enterprise Manager under ORS, and what I want to do is configure the database log configuration. And it sounds like a simple exercise that all I want to do is enable debugging. So while I am using the ORS, any various degrees of errors, informational, fatal, etc., can go to the log file. So if I type, say, junk, and I try to save, there's going to be an error. You see the error below, database error, CMX log verify, invalid path. Now, the reason I'm showing you this error is, that, is so that you can be aware. And it's a, it's, there's something wrong, and it seems to be that Oracle is storing the, uh, that Oracle is storing, uh, there's something to do with the uppercase, lowercase. In this case, the issue is caused because the update statement is in lowercase letters for the debug file path, and I'm going to show you that. And Oracle stores it in uppercase. So I don't know who's to blame, but somehow it's based on Oracle. And so what I'm going to do before I try to fix this, I'm actually going to go to the Oracle database that I have open. And, there's here, and here is another system table for you to be aware of. In this table, notice that what I have is, I had it open already. What I'm looking for the table right now here is the C repos DB release. So C, C, uh, C repos, where is it at? Oops, it's, uh, I believe it is a view. Is that correct? C repos, I, I noticed that I already have it open, C repos DB release. So that's what I'm looking for. Let me go back to tables and search for it. I already have it open, but I just want to show you how I looked for it because our login information is stored in there. So C repos quickly, DBus, uh, C repos DB release. Here it is. Look at the column names. I already had it open. Notice the particular ones to pay attention uh, actually, it's quite a bit of information here. The uh, DB password, uh, debug indicator, the TNS name, and there's the debug file file name and the debug path name. So those are the two fields that we're interested in here. So release, last update, and here's a debug file path and the debug. Let me go to the data so you can see what it looks like initially. So if we just go through it, I'm going to go a little bit slowly so you can see it. Here is the debug file path. Notice that's what was appearing in the hub console. And, and then somewhere in here slowly is the file name. Here it is. So those, those are the two things I want to change. So that's what we want to change. Now, notice that's equivalent to the file path and the, and the name. But there seems to be that little bug, so bear with me. I'm going to have to go to the SQL Plus, log in, and do a, a various commands so that I can get this. So let me just minimize this since I have to go to the start. And then here, and just bear with me, I have to go to the, I don't want to type too many commands. And what I want to do is basically type the CMD just to get to the, to the OS level. And unless I make severe typos, I want to enter the system admin password because I need privileges to be able to modify this. Hopefully no typos. There it is. I'm logging in as administrator. And it's straightforward. There are more than one way. There is more than one way to do this, but this is just one way. You could have written a script for this. So what I want to do is cre execute the command create directory. These are just uh, SQL statements. Create directory, and I'm going to type this very carefully. The debug directory has to be a directory that does not exist. So uh, it's sort of creating a virtual directory. So I'm going to make it uh, create directory 9, debug directory 9. I've got to make sure that it does not exist. And so it's a virtual directory. And then put it in quotes make sure I don't make any typos, of my path name. So where the product is install, install info admin, and just make sure that I tub, 
type this, so I'll be a little bit quiet. And here it is, making sure I don't make any mistakes. Hopefully, if you see any typos, please let me know. There goes directory created. And now I just want to grant privileges, but because this is a demo, I'm going to grant all on the directory that was just created. And again, I'll be consistent with lowercase, uppercase. And again, some of you guys will argue if what I'm saying is correct, that it's a, it, it's the way Oracle stores lowercase, uppercase. But there is a tech note in on the My Support website of Informatica that you can read this. And this is how I learned how to fix this. Debug directory 9. And, and now I'm going to set it to My ORS. Remember what My ORS is, so I'm going to grant that. And unless there's any typos, excellent. So it looks like it's, it's done. Let's see if uh, this works. Commit. And let me exit. There. Now let's quickly go back to the hub now. And now things should work well. Now remember, there's more than one way to do what I, what I was doing. Another way that I was doing earlier, if I go to Oracle, notice that I, I had various commands right here the connect as system administrator, create or replace. So there's more than one way, but this way I'm following what the course writer wants you to do when you do your labs. Now I'm in the hub and crossing my fingers. Basically at this point, I want to return and now change the debug, debug uh, path name. Here's the secret, the debug file path name. What I want to change it is to debug and remember what I called it, directory nine. I hope that's what I called it. That's what I wanted. And the folder or the file name for the debug that I want is trn underscore lab dot log. And now it should work. Cross your fingers because if I check this and I save this, it no longer should give me that error. Congratulations. So again, it, I had to create a virtual directory because of the way that we're arguing that Oracle stores uppercase, lowercase on that. So there it is. Now, what do you want to do? So we're pretty much logging. If I start using my ORS as we've been doing in our labs and demos, things will be starting to log. And this is the log file. And now you know where it's stored. Now, now we could continue the discussion because you see, I can actually be very granular and say if I want to set the flag for other ones for the SIF as well as the batch jobs. Now notice that here in the debug log level I could have said just warnings. Notice I'm toggling here. I have the informational all uh, change log status to info, change log status to uh, warning, etc. So I could have been changing those but I'm going to leave it as debug in the moment because I want the one that's for all of them. And I think it's saved. And at this moment, it is ready to go. And now let me go back to my schema viewer just so that I can change things. Go back to my TRN. And as I keep doing this, uh, uh, you know, using it, things should be logged. And just to confirm, we go to the path names. And notice under info admin, that huge file path name, hub, server, uh, logs, and somewhere in here, I'll leave that up to you, somewhere in here, your file will be created. Here it is, trn underscore lab logs. Wow, it's already a little bit. Let's see if I can open this, and I'm going to open it with Notepad. I can't believe it got so big so quickly. Didn't even do much. But at any rate, th uh, this is going to open up, and here it is. Now you can actually see what's going on inside of it. You see? So quite a bit of logging now. And that concludes our demo for setting the debug level. And let me just position you where we started, which is in the Enterprise Manager, ORIS, selected the one we're working on, and database log configuration. Thank you very much. That concludes this demo.